I found a, I stumbled onto a thing this week that made me super happy. I am subbing for a friend's band later uh, next month. And I have to like learn a bunch of the songs that they play, cover songs. And so he sent me a spreadsheet uh, that listed kind of the songs actually in the orders that we plan to play them uh, on this, at least on this particular night. I don't know if they have a set show or whatever, but whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, and it included the name of the artist, the name of the song, and I think maybe even the key that was in, cause that that's super important for me on the drums. And then, uh, uh, <laughs> and then it had Spotify links for each of the songs, which is really helpful. Sometimes people will do YouTube links. Sometimes people do Spotify links, but to the version that the band has learned, right? Sometimes it's, you know, the studio version that that's kind of the, the, the oh, default yeah. version, but other times it's a live version because, you know, a studio version where it fades out is never going to like, how are we going to, how do you want to do that on stage? I've always uh, said that uh, Tom Petty's American girl is like the great litmus test as to whether or not someone has done their homework coming into the gig. Because if you say to them, if you say to a sub, hey, let us know if you have any questions about like song endings or whatever. If you've got American Girl on your set list, which fades out on the record, every band has come up with their own way to end it. And if you don't ask the question, it means you didn't do your homework. Uh, so but uh, so I had this list of Spotify uh, URLs and I'm like, great. Well, but it's like, you know, 35 of them or something. I do want to build a Spotify playlist of this and I do keep Spotify and Apple music. And this is the primary reason I keep Spotify is okay. so that, uh, so that I can share links with musicians, friends. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could just copy that list of links from the spreadsheet and paste it into the Spotify app in a new playlist and have it auto populate. And you know what? I can. And Very so cool. can you. Yep. It just works. 